Okay, what we have here is a 08 Dodge Dakota and our tire pressure monitor light is on in the dash here. We can see that. And we had a couple codes in here. One is for code uh, is low tire pressure and the other code is for tire pressure sensor for internal failure, which seems kind of odd. If we look at the scanner here, we got the scanner set up for uh, in the tire pressure data list here. We got our over here we got our uh, DID numbers for the uh, for the tire pressure monitors and over here we have the tire pressures. So you wonder now why do we have a code for uh, low tire pressure when we're we're within the threshold for this vehicle of proper tire pressure and we've got ID numbers for all our sensors. So this is where you need really, you need your scan tool and you need a tire pressure monitor a tool to read the tire pressure sensors separate from the scan tool to read them directly. Because if we come around here, now this vehicle is pretty obvious because on the left front here we can see we got a rigid, a rigid valve stem so that's an indicator that there's probably a tire pressure sensor in there. We don't know that for sure but to find out for sure you can uh, grab the tool and I think we're all set up here for a dodge it's very hard to see the screen here we'll press uh, initial sensor test yes dodge four wheels yes and this will probably take a second or two it goes through all three steps here to find the first sensor First sensor always takes a little longer. Once it learns the, the proper frequency and stuff, the second sensor will go faster. Still, still waiting. Uh, any second now. And there we see we got the sensor, 33 force, 33 psi in that tire. But then we come around here to the right front and we notice that there's a, uh, we got a rubber, we got a rubber valve stem. So chances are we could uh, try and read this, but just from past experience, if it's a, on a Dodge, they generally don't have rubber valve stems. We'll uh, go here to right front and we'll try and read this. I'm sure it ain't going to read though. It'll probably take a little while here. It usually takes a second or two before it figures out that there's no sensor there. But anyways, the point of this is, I'm sure it's not going to read it because I don't think there's a sensor in there, is that you need the TPMS tool because you go back here and your numbers are there, so if you only were using the scan tool to try to figure out this problem, you'd pre even if that weren't a rubber stem on there, say that was just a defective, a defective uh, tire pressure sensor and wasn't sending the signal to the vehicle, you would still have a problem because it would still show what this is. Is this the last good data that the vehicle received from these sensors? So since then, obviously that wheel has been replaced and somebody either replaced the valve stem or they just re put a different wheel on this vehicle that didn't have the sensor in it. And the light came on and they stored a couple of codes but it really doesn't tell you why the code sets so you need both tools to verify that these numbers that you see here when you read them with the, with the TPMS tool that these numbers are going to match what's on the TPMS tool and obviously what's in that tire, the right front tire, isn't going to match because there is no sensor in that tire. And you would think that you would have a good sensor because you do have numbers here and you do have a pressure reading here. So basically, it's the, you got to look at it from both sides of the vehicle. You got to look at the sensor directly and you have to look at what the vehicle, what the TPMS monitor in the vehicle is reading and what the tire pressure sensors are actually 
transmitting because they don't always match up. So you want to look at it from both sides and then you can from there figure out where the problem is. So that's about it.